Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 25th of 2022, well, it is titled the Medusa Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, we see the Medusa Nebula, also known as a Bell 21, and this is an example of a planetary nebula. Now, a planetary nebula, despite the name, has nothing to do with planets, but is actually the end state of a star much like our own sun. So at the end of a star's life, our sun will become larger and larger. Its core will contract down to a very compact size, about the size of Earth, and the outer layers will expand outward. And it will become first a giant and then a supergiant star, with its outer layers engulfing much of the inner solar system, including Earth. So th it will get larger, and eventually it will get large and unstable, and as that, collapse, as that core continues to collapse down, the outer layers, some of those instabilities, will cause it to be expelled out into space. So the final result of our, our sun it's, uh, at the end of its life will be something like what we see here today. The gaseous areas are the outer layers of the star that are now expelled out into space, and deep down at the center, there is a core, which is a white dwarf star, something about the size of Earth and compacted down uh, so that the atoms are essentially touching each other almost as close as they can possibly get. Now, the planetary nebula stage is a very short stage of, a, of the life of a star and lasting only a few tens of thousands of years. And what will happen is that this material that continues to expand outward will eventually dissipate out into space. In addition, the white dwarf star will eventually cool off enough that it's not giving off as much of the high energy radiation to cause those outer layers to glow. So why do we see these outer layers? Well, it is the energy, and especially ultraviolet energy, from that white dwarf star at the center that excites those atoms and causes them to glow and allows us to see them. As that energy source turns off and weakens, and as those outer layers expand outward even further, eventually they will become invisible and we will no longer see them, and we will, they will just continue to expand out into space, eventually becoming seed material for future generations of stars. So when our sun expand, extends those outer layers out another five or six billion years, they will, over time, billions of years after that, eventually become part of another star somewhere in our galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for March 25th of 2022. It was titled the Medusa Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be behind Pluto. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.